Okay, on this episode of On Your Bike, we have two newly purchased cubs which we take up to Gibbo's Camp Hill Chop Shop. With a little tinkering, he will get them purring. Having watched the previous episodes, you'll know I recently bought a couple of cubs, both of them needing a bit of work before we could get back out on the road. And we knew just the man to go about fixing them. The ever busy Gibbo has hundreds of projects on the go, but always has time for us at OYB. So one bike on a trailer and the other one in a boot, we made our way to his yard. That's a clean one, that is. Mint. That's alright, isn't it? It's clean. I'll tell you what, it's a, good, it's a good example, that is. Well, that's yeah. exactly what I wanted to hear. I'll get, I'll get another, another one I need you to look at. Just going inside. This one needs slung. <laughs> that's a bit, a bit of a barn find, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing a bit of tea cup won't sort out. <laughs> I've, I've had worse in, put it that way. I've yeah, no, in. I don't doubt you. Do you know it's fair? Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, it's alright. And if you put your. Whoa, I think you're hitting the sweet spot. Whoa. Stuff for what? Is it stuff? I don't know. I think it has, and it's that. And what another thing I got is what I thought. If we put that, yeah, you won't feel for it, yeah. And then that just that's going to catch <laughs> the crap, which stops it getting obviously to the carburetor. <laughs> Maybe this one needs a bit more work than I first thought, or maybe a lot more. It comes with cigarette lighter. Yeah. Is that for your sat nav? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mighty car mods. We got our very own blue turd. No, no, Most of that gets binned. Yeah, absolutely. With both bikes unloaded, time to move them into the chop shop. Oh, it's just been MOT'd. Um, and before going anywhere, he did say, he said, there's a little bit of rust inside the tank, which is obviously dirtying up the fuel. And he said that's, uh, so there's going to be dirt in the carburetor, probably an idea to get that looked at and cleaned. So one, how do we go, what do we do about that? How do I, how do I stop, how do I clean up the tank? How do I stop any crap that's going to be in there, get into the carb? And how would I go about cleaning the carb? Is that a lot? Well, we look, let's just have a quick look under. Let's have a quick look in here. Yeah. There's a bit of surface rust. But why would that, why would, how can surface rust be inside? Is that normal? Is that, how does that happen? It's just when they've been left so long um, and condensation and stuff gets in the tank and it's like the fuel goes off. Because if it's been stood for a while, fuel evaporates and leaves a residue in the bottom of the carb, like a fur. And that's, that can cause the, the, the jets to block up. Okay. Um, and when we put it back together, we can put an inline fuel filter on, which oh, will really? hopefully, you can see the colour of the fuel going through it, what, if it's clean or dirty, and that'll sort of filter all the crap. You just whip these out, you don't have to take the bolt completely off. These tabs just lock the fairing in place. Oh, OK. Yeah, when we, we'll take the fuel pipe off, we'll get a little jug, pour the fuel into the jug just to see what colour it is. I mean, a lot of, of tanks, they have filters in the bottom of the tank. All right. Like where the, I mean, a lot of them have got little pumps on or automatics and that, but they've got filters already built into the tank, but they don't on these, so 
Is that a kind of changeable thing, or is that just a thing? It's that it's just constant. It's always there, and you yeah, never it, change it. Yeah, it's always there. You just okay. just chuck an inline okay. filter on it, and that's about the best thing you can do, really. Check, clean it if the tank's got too much rust in, replace it. First things first. Right. Time to get that fairing off. Pop that over there. Well, I'm going to drain the fuel. Check the colour of it. So it's just this pipe here. Oh, it's probably never been off before many years, so it took a bit of persuading. Um, right. Yeah, there's a bit of crap in that. Not much, but... I mean, there, there was obviously a little bit in, yeah, the, in, there anyway, but in it anyway, yeah. but I'm just checking the colour, but it, it is a bit... got a bit of a tint to it. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit in there, but it's not... I've seen a lot worse. Just have to take the uh, throttle pin out. There you go. Right. What's this the wire? This lets. This is the slide. What lets the air through the carb. This is the pin for your mid range. You have a pilot jet in your carb, which uh -huh. works on no throttle to a little bit of throttle and half throttle. This comes into play. Uh huh which um, it's tapered, so as it comes up, it lets more fuel lets through. More, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. The full throttle works off, a, it's called a main jet in the carb. Really? The main jet, it's when you, you literally, f throttle's full on, and it sort of, when this is all the way out, and no more fuel can go, can go through, it swaps to the, the main jet. I see, jet. okay. And then okay. You, that lets a lot more fuel through, so obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, right, right. Next, the two 8mm bolts. Then, with a bit of persuasion, the carb should come away. There we go. Right. So that's the carb out. I'll bring it round here, I've got a bit more room, and we'll uh, strip it down. A bit, of, a bit of fuel left in the carb. Hard part a bit, don't they? Right. Yeah, you can see. Right, just empty that in there. And you can see all the dirt in there. Alrighty. Get the bottom. It's all lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, only yeah. takes the, the smallest bit of that to, to oh, clog, to clog your jets up. And we'll check the jet. We'll take this pin out. This pin releases the uh, the bowl on here you can see there yeah a little bit of residue bit there. Of crap in there bit of dirt but it's not bad bad when they've been left for a long time they're literally you get a fur in there mm. this is the needle jet So what you're looking for, they've got little holes in. I don't know if you can see. They've got little tiny holes. Yeah, but you, can, you can just see little But usually when you blow it off. yeah, when you blow yeah. it through, it will normally get bigger because if there's a bit of bit of fuel in there it'll I'm glad. But yeah, it's literally I'm, just a little I'm, bit. And then I'm really pleased that I didn't do anything more with it and get it cleaned out. Yeah. So that I'm not dragging any crap any further into anywhere. Yeah. Are we just going to rinse that and like... Um, yeah, well, um, I'll just blow it out with an airline. Oh, just, oh, yeah. okay, I see, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but sometimes, if they're blocked, what you do is get an old bit of wire, yeah. pull a strand off, and just just poke it through. Because normally, if you go like that, you're able to see through you them. can see straight through. Yeah, okay. Most of us probably haven't got one of these at home, but you can probably get away with the cans of compressed air for cleaning your keyboards. Glasses on, I don't want anyone to go in my eyes. These are sometimes a pain to get out, yeah. but we'll uh, have, have a look. Let's get a spanner. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. Oh, wow. Wow. That is monster bad. That is some chateau right there. <laughs> Fucking hell, look at that. Honestly, I've seen thin and marmite. There you go. That is all wrong. Yeah. I don't like that. God. With putting an inline fuel filter in, you can see that you can't see this. You can't see the build up. If you put an inline filter in, you can see this happening. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be trapped up. So, and my point is, you just pull it off and put a new one on. Yeah, yeah. It's just. God, that's frightening. I mean, sometimes the carbs are, are filthy, but this is quite clean. And I yeah. think people clean them in a parts washer or ultrasonic cleaners you can use to clean them, but it's quite clean. I wouldn't. Little blow off, fine. I'll just give it all the, just blow all the little holes out. You see all these? So we've just yeah, given yeah. them a little. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of, these are all where air gets through and fuel gets through, so just these. Did you get it? Got a little pin. What you tend to do with this is wind it all the way in. All the way in and then yeah. adjust it back. And then, so it locks up. And then I, I normally just go, I can't remember actually what the exact, yeah, well it's two what it says in the whatever. book, but yeah. you can adjust it once it's running, but I usually go half a turn, another half a turn, and then another half a turn. So it's about a turn and a half out, and then your idle screw just, just pop it in a little bit, so it's just in because we'll have to adjust that when we get it started. Let's clean up. All right, so, it only goes one, one way. The rubber to the face of that, and then yeah, it dips see, down a bit yeah. more. It's, right, it's okay, not yeah, yeah, dead yeah. oval. Just put that there, and then, cool, and then this rubber yeah, butts okay. up to that. Might just have to tweak that around. Right, yep. Yeah. Right. Down, okay. And this, just hold the bolts there and then sort of yeah. if you want to screw that other side in. That's it. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Right. Get as much as you can with your fingers. You have to watch when you're tightening these up because they prone to thread. Yeah, you can, don't, yeah, take them to the pinch, but don't go beyond. Yeah, just pinch them up, like, both sides, just, just, so it's there. Yeah. Because they, they thread yeah, really you do, easy. Yeah, you're just going to strip it. When you're putting the throttle in, it only goes in one way. This cutout directs the air into the carb. So that'll be So it, it goes towards the air filter. I gotcha. All right, so that's to the front, right? Yeah, that always goes to the, the front of the carb. So it is, put that back on, as normal. Now for the filter. I've got the little clips, but they're pretty useless, really, the standard clips. I'll just leave that there for a second then. So well, would it be what, higher or lower on that? Is there any kind of drop, or does it disappear into the thing? Oh, so that's where you're going to see it, so it would just yeah. go to, yeah, yeah. We'll okay. put it there, because okay. you want to be able to see it, so you and can see. It. Sure, sure. So these okay. only go one way. Yeah, going that way, wouldn't it? So they've got your little arrow. So basically, fuel goes that way. You sure? I thought it would have went. No, because you can, if it went in there, you can't see the crap inside. You can see it from the outside. And plus, okay. you've got your, that arrow means fuel's going that way. Okay. And basically, just slot it on. You can get a littler ones of these, but this, this is fine. Pretty tight, that should seal fine. You can put Jubilee clips around there, but to be but absolutely no pressure, fine, yeah it's, not no, yeah, it's not pressurized. <laughs> so. Uh, right, so that's the car back on. So, I want some fresh fuel in it and get a fire up. I'm looking forward to this <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Yeah. 
God. Right, stood. Sounding good, but not quite right. The exhaust was blown a little bit, but luckily we had Bluey the Scrap Heap, the willing donor. For anybody that didn't already see the previous episode, this bike was stolen. Take a look at how clean and nice this bike is. No wonder I'm filled with grief. Get by a nice one, let's do this again. Go on, okay, my boys. <laughs> cool. It's never sounded good. so good. <laughs> Alrighty, that's a little bit of a how-to instruction there. We will be doing much more how-to, including a whole build. If you enjoyed that, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and join us next time. Alrighty, you've been told, on your bike.